Hey Jeff, um, uh, this is the song. Uh, the final part is actually the bridal processional that Rachel will walk down the aisle to, but the other three parts are also vital to the song. I'm going to show you the parts in order, uh, the way I wrote them, but you can feel free to rearrange any of the parts except for the final part, uh, which is going to be the part that Rachel walks down the aisle to. The first part of the song is a figure in open D tuning, obviously, that uh, is built off of the D string and the high E string on the same fret and just moves up and down. So, here's the first part. So that's the first part of the song. The second part of the song, it's going to be a little tricky for you to see exactly what I'm doing here, but it's built off of a riff that starts up here. So again. real time, the whole part of that song are, is going to go like this. So that's the second part of the song. The third part of the song is going to be built up here and goes like this. Well, that was completely screwed up, obviously, so let's try that again. <laughs> That's the only part of the song that's not going to repeat. Uh, it's just going to go one time through because it's a little bit longer than the other parts before going back to one of the other parts. Um, so again... So that's the third part of the song, and the last part, the bridal processional part, goes like this. Oops.
So that's the last part of the song. I know that's very confusing, but I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. So essentially, you're going to have the top two strings, same fret. And then this figure. And then you can go either up to the first figure or the second figure. Then down to here. So that's basically the whole song. I know it's going to be very difficult for you to learn this way, potentially, because it's I didn't play it all that well. But um, if it's too confusing, I can I can continue to record it, and we can see, or we can Skype, and you can see what we can do with it. All right.